is Everton Curtain here. All right, come next with your, oh, sorry. Your Good afternoon, everyone. Pastor Kerr was a good example, and I know that all of us can agree with that statement. Pastor Kerr could have uttered the same words that Paul uttered in 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 1. Be imitators of me as I am of Christ. When I think about his example, I think about his holy life and his reputation. Whenever his name is mentioned in the region of Hopewell and Hanover, and people think about Pastor Kerr, they always think about a holy man of God, a good man of God. A faithful man of God. His love for the sheep. I used to come to this church when I was much younger, and Pastor Kerr had this habit. If he didn't see you in church, he would call you up on your phone. Amen. And he would say, Brother Curtin, are you okay? Or Everton, are you okay? And then I'm sure that his members here can attest to that. Amen. He had a very good devotion to God's word. I would always be impressed by him because he would always be able to quote word for word what a passage in the Bible said and where the passage came from. And, and as a young preacher myself, I found myself doing the same thing because he was such a good example. His devotion to the assembly and gathering of God's people was a very good example. Pastor Kerr would gather in the morning service and preach with all of his energy and then come again at the evening service and preach again. And... For those of you who are preachers, you know that it's not an easy thing to do. Whenever I tried to do that, I would lose my voice in the evening service. So that was very, very impressive of him. And lastly, every Christian, as Paul says in Philippians 1, verse 23 through 24, we all have a desire to be with our Lord and Savior in heaven. Because every day we die to ourselves, turning from our sins, over and over again. And we long to be with our Savior when we no longer have to struggle against sin and struggle to stay holy in the eyes of God. That we can all say of our brother in Christ, he is in a better place. He is with the Lord in heaven, in his arms, in his embrace. And we will see him again as long as we stay faithful to our King, our Lord and Savior. Thank you.